So what I got here today is a weather pack connector kit. And this is gonna replace this stuff here that's all cut. So originally when I modified this for my own fuel hat, I just put some butt splice connectors on these and call it good. The problem with that is that anytime I need to take my fuel hat out of here to service it, I don't have any way to disconnect it and I have to cut it and put in new butt splice connectors. and It's just a process. So if you want to do your wiring correctly, get yourself some of these. I think this guy was five bucks. I got it on Summit. Um, pretty good deal. Shipped to my door, it was maybe ten bucks, but it's a weather pack connector kit. I don't drive this car in the weather, so I don't really need that, but it'll work really good for this application. And if it's on something that you drive daily, this would work really good. It's got some little, it's got some little seals right here, these little rubber rings that go around your wire terminals. All right, so here's this little connector guy here. You can see that it's keyed, so it'll only go in here one way. You're not going to be able to put it in upside down. It just won't fit in. Got a rubber gasket around here. Seals nice and good. Easy to take apart. A lot better than some butt splices. You can see you've got a male and a female, so one's got to fit inside of the other like that. So that's how it'll go when you push your connector together. So you want to make sure that you've got they are all one style on one side and the other style on the other side. And um, you can see here I've got three of them done already. Crimp them on the wire there. And after I get all of these done, I'll put it into the actual connector. Then we'll test it. And I give these a little tug just to make sure that they're not going to go anywhere. You can see I've got one connector done. You got it all in there, ready to go. You want to make sure you match up the next one. So it's keyed this way. Right? No, wrong. <laughs> Don't plug it in that side. So it's keyed. You can see the little slots. They're down on this side, right down there. It's got to go on this way, right? So when I plug that in, I want red, black, red, black. So I've got to go red, black, red, black up on top here. So if you look on this here, I've got all these ones done. I've got them crimped on. Get you a little, little better view. Let's see, I've got all four of these crimped. I'm missing one of those rubber gaskets. I couldn't find that, so I'm going to go without it. But I've got them all crimped on. I've got the rubber seal on there. So now I just got to line them up with the correct spot on the connector. So again I'm gonna double check. So we'll have to go on that way so I gotta start red black red black. So we'll go something like this. Then all you gotta do is push your pins in there. Make sure they get seated in there properly. You'll hear a little click when they get in there all the way. I don't know if you heard that or not, but I got a little click and you can see in the end of there, you can see all of those are all the way out to the end here, so when I plug it in, they should line up perfectly. Okay, so that's what I just did. Then I'm gonna close this on the bottom, snap it in place. Hear that, I got it snapped in place. Good to go there. And I'm gonna plug it in. I was able to get my connector to seat all the way and I had to wiggle a little bit. It's not the 
absolute greatest connector in the world, but it really does a good job. Um, when you're putting it together, you just got to make sure that you wiggle it and you get the male and the female part seated together properly. So as you can see now, with that connector there, anytime I need to service my fuel pump, it's a simple, oh look at that. Now I can just take that out. I don't have to worry about the electrical connection having to be butt spliced together. And when I'm ready for it, I can connect it back up. That's it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I know it was a little lengthy just for a connector, but kind of shows you the process of getting those put together. Have a good one. See you next time.